you're an Avenger. Have I killed you before? give that to you. It's not what you think it is. It's a cage. All right, man, it's a go, man. King 2, man. New Alpha Comics history, man. It's what it is, man. Listen, man. What is eternity? You know what I'm saying? What we talk, we talking serious talk now. You know what I'm saying? What is he the God of? You know what I'm saying? We, we all, you know, we religious and all that. We, you know, we, 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 we worship things. We worship the gods. We worship this. We, you know, we praise that. We do this. You know, this is what we do in our life. I'm saying, and you know, we think that everything's make believe, everything's fake. You know? We go about our lives, we work, we do this, we watch movies. You know, we do, we, we put our kids in college. We, you know, we do everything. You know? and, and we just, you know, we do that, and then we, 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 we basically ensure that our son or daughter is doing it in, in the next time around. They're doing it all. They're gonna follow the whole program of life, of American life, or whatever country you're from. You know, we got entertainment, you know, we got, we got, we got, uh, you know, uh, presents, gifts, we do things like that. We watch movies for entertainment, okay? And so now we watch movies and we, and we think it's all entertainment, fake, okay? And, you know, we grow up, you know, we get our, uh, religious, our, our faith and our faith in God and, you know, uh, and things like that, you know, uh, so we try to secure our place in the afterlife, you know, uh, you know, doing righteous things and, Made it to heaven. I mean, this is this is what we told. You know what I'm saying, and so you 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 we, we grow up believing this stuff. You know what I'm saying, so we think this is our real reality, stuff that, that they gave us. But in reality, is it's all fake. There's no proof to any of that. You know what I'm saying so, but we just take it as facts. You know I'm I already been through all that. But my point is this: it's not the fact that we. Do. That, we, that, that the religion is wrong or the religion is fake. Forget about that. Because it's billions of gods. You know what I'm saying? Billions of them. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, you can worship any, any god. I mean, that, that's what it is. The god is there to worship. But it, it, that, that is not the only thing you, you, you have to do. You can, actually, you can actually say, no, I'm not going to worship a god. And that's it. You're okay. It ain't nothing, nothing you, you're not going to get anything better than me. You know what I'm saying? Worship with God is, is, to, is to become a slave. Okay? But that's first of all the rip. Guys don't have friends. Okay? They got subjects. Okay? That's it. Like I said, if you're a man and you, and you, you meet a God, you got to offer him your wife and daughter. This is, this is what's going on. So, I mean, don't, don't think that, you know, you being affiliated with a God is, 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 your, is, your, is your good doing. No, no, no. That's your undoing. Okay? You, 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 you went back into slavery. That's it, mental slavery now. But my thing is this, we're talking about eternity. We're talking about the walking embodiment of the universe, the living universe. That's what we're talking about. Now, people look at eternity and they look at the comics and they say, oh yeah, he's an abstract of uh, the comics. Yeah, no, it's not an abstract of the comics. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm saying no. That we look at this because we just, comic books is like, the Bible in a, in a way, because the comic books is written by certain authors or whatever, and people take that the them comics literally, and if you try to change anything or say anything, something different, this is what it is. They, they stick to that, and that's that. But the people who made these uh, books and made these comics, they made these to grow, to, for the stories to evolve, things to, to advance. But some people get these comics and they think that this is how it's supposed to be forever. You know what I'm saying? But they, and they, and thinking about this, they don't even believe the comic. <laughs> they think it's all make believe. But they, but they're so hard on to, with, the, with this stuff. This stuff is, and it's like, oh, wait a minute, you going all all hard for this, and you think it's nothing? Just like like make believe, fiction. No, wait a minute, this is not this fiction, make believe. This is history. You know what I'm saying? Remember, we was conquered. You know what I'm saying? Conquered. And given information. You know we was given information. Given uh, degrees. You know what I'm saying? Diplomas. 
they, 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 they conquered us and then taught us and gave us information, gave us religion, named us black, named us white. You know what I'm saying? Gave us history. This is what they did. So when you talk about these things, you gotta understand what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? We're made to believe what they tell us. You know what I'm saying? That's it. We only know what they tell us. And it's up to you to understand what's real truth. You have to go search for truth. Truth ain't gonna find you. We're giving lies. You understand? Know you have to go find, you have to go seek out truth. You can't sit around and just, you know what I'm saying? Once you seek out the truth, now you can sit around and follow the universe. You gotta go, you gotta go search. And when you, when you go search, you understand the ancient world ran by a whole different situation than this modern world. Because, listen, in the ancient world, there was no whole organized set religion. There's guys everywhere. You know what Now, they got, they, got, they, got, they got a whole new form of slavery now, so they got everybody in one organized religion. You know but no. We're talking about eternity here. You know what I'm saying? Now I told you, I've been on this. The man who crossed, the navigator who crossed the ice wall. This book, I give you the inside of everything now. About 78 different worlds under domes, bubbles. You know what I'm saying? He was trapped, the gods over there, trapped, sun gods over there, Anunnaki, the custodians, all the people trapped. You know what I'm saying? Think about the, the Loki. When it comes on, and they show these reality bubbles. Now, you thinking like you, 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 you obviously they get everybody into that fiction mode. So you see Loki coming on, and oh yeah, it's showing, it's showing the universe, yeah, oh, something getting blown up, or it's showing spaceship, or it's showing these little bubbles or black holes, and you don't even notice it. You just waiting, you just waiting for Loki to come on. That's it. Most people just waiting for Loki to come on. They notice. That's why they put it there. You see? They go right over your head. You see? You see all that stuff, you don't realize nothing. So come on, you watch Loki, that's it. But the big, the, the, the key, the key of everything was the was how, 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 the, 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 the whole part right there. You see those reality bubbles. There's two of them. Now, one of them is Marvel. All Marvel space. Everything. I'm not, I'm not talking about just Marvel. I'm not talking about just like regular Marvel. I'm talking about all Marvel properties, all Disney properties, everything. It's in that reality bubble right there. The one on the right. You know what I'm saying? But the one on the left is us. You know what I'm saying? See, 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 people understand this. You know people think that this is all make believe. You know what I'm but <laughs> it's not all make believe. This is history, man. Eternity is the walking embodiment of the universe, the living universe. People don't even understand that, that Earth is alive. Like people, people think, oh, Earth is like oh, there's, there's sand and rocks. Hey, the plants are alive. I'm, like, I'm riding my boy every day. I'm like, look, the Earth is alive. He said, what? It's a, it's a plant. Look at that plant right there. Look at that, look at that tree. He said, well, it's, it's alive. <laughs> the tree is alive, right? So if the tree is alive, it's planted in where? The earth. The earth is alive. The earth is sentient. You know the people, people think like, oh, the earth is sentient. The earth can talk, live, everything. You know we, 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 we just think, oh, we just, in a the reality, they just got us in a whole bubble of everything is just fake. And we don't know nothing. We just, our job is to work and go to clubs and, and, and that's it. We, that, 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 that's, that's our job. Okay? We, we, don't got, we don't got nothing else. Nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. Okay? That ain't right. We got, we got a whole lot to do. We got, we got lives. We got a whole lives to save. A whole generation to save. Because we got to understand this history. We have to. It's all in our face. We think all this is fiction. 
Eternity, Avershaw, Ancestral, all this. You think everything is all fake. Thor, Odin. You know what I'm saying? We celebrate all these days. Tuesday through Friday. As guardians. <laughs> Why are we celebrate as guardians? You know what I'm we gotta understand, we gotta look around just because, yo. Just because they tell us this. Or they tell us that. Remember. We was conquered. Remember King the Conqueror? We was conquered. You see? Given all of this. None of, none, none of what we know is original. It was given to us. Everything. So when you do that, now you understand. No, wait a minute. Let me go back and figure out where, where I'm at. Whether you white or black. You see? So th th this is real. Ain't nobody else in this world black or white. You know? They're, they're Nigerian. You know Libyan. Egyptian. You know That type of stuff. You know Irish. You know what I'm saying? Polish. That type of stuff. Ain't, ain't nobody saying it. Ain't, ain't nobody white. You know what I'm saying? This is real. History. They bet their life that we don't look into nothing. They bet their life that we just believe everything they tell us. Mm -mm. Eternity. The little figure you see in the comics with the planets and stars on them that you, you just look at and like, oh, look, 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 little character. No, no, no. That's, that's, the, that's real. And then you got to open those books, those Bibles, and you got Jesus and all that stuff you're reading. That's the fake stuff. Okay? Okay? You go, you go in the movie theater, you got your popcorn, you got your wife, kids, everything. You in there, watch it like Star Wars or something. You just in there just thinking that everything is just like fiction. Everything is just whatever. You just here for pleasure, everything. They're telling you something. They're showing you something. And you're just like, oh. This is what we do. This is how they have it. They, they got us so relaxed and laid down that we don't even know, we don't even understand who we was, who our people was. What, 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 no matter what race you were, we had origin stories, man. We had high, superpower beings. You know what I'm saying? We was traveling realms. You know what I'm saying? You, we got, we got, <laughs> I've been putting this, putting this out there. We, we got pictures of everything, realms, everything, all of it. We got, I got I got detailed files on, on just history of, on from the ancient world, ancient realm, ancient world. You know what I'm saying? About crossing portals. Different worlds, different, different, different civilizations. You know what I'm saying? Sky battles. Inter, inter, intergalactic battles. You know what I'm saying? Stuff we see in, in Star Wars and Marvel and all type of stuff all the time. You know what I'm saying? Lines up with history. And we just, huh? It's all fake. It's all make believe. Wait a minute. The Eternals landed in Mesopotamia. That's ancient Iraq. This is history now. The Anunnaki landed in Mesopotamia. You see? Got the people, taught the people how to build, taught the people how to plant, taught the people uh, astronomy, history. You see? This happened. But you you see that in a movie, you think that never happened. None of this. You see? And, and that's where you go wrong at. They are replaying history. Or we playing something that's going on now. It's like directors are trying to tell us something. We think that, oh, we just everything you just no. Listen, let me give you an example. Uh Caesar, the Planet of the Apes. You know what I'm saying? Now, the first Planet of the Apes was done by a different director. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's a great movie. Now, the, the main part, obviously, the main part of the movie where the ape was in the, uh, in the pen. And he pulled him out the pen and he was trying to get him to do something. And, and obviously, uh, Caesar was like, no. You know what I'm saying? And when he said that, that was like, you know, the white man got him in it. Got him in it. I'm saying, he, no, I ain't doing it no more. What the hell do you think you're doing, huh? Get. Come on. Get back in your cage. I'm warning you.
Come on, get! That's it. See? That's what you get! Now get back! What's wrong with you? Stop working! Take your stinking paw off me, you damn dirty ape! You understand that thing? I ain't doing it no more. I ain't doing this. You you enslaved me. You colonized everything. All my people, everything. We all in cages. Look around. We out of here. I'm tired. No, I ain't doing it. That's it. That meant something. All those apes in there. They was proud. They was it, it was it was it was they couldn't believe it. Like he stepped to the plate. I'm saying, this is what it is. They don't want us to see this type this type of stuff, man. They don't want you to see that. Like, wait a minute, yo. Caesar wasn't playing, kid. He said no. He didn't want to listen to them no more. I'm saying, that's all we do is listen to them. I'm saying. We work for them for eternity. So we that's what we was brought here for. You understand? As slaves. So when you see somebody say no, whether it's an ape or, or human, he ain't listening. You know what I'm saying? They had to get him out of there. That director was out of here. You know what I'm saying? Gone. The next two movies was done by Matt Reeves, the one who made that terrible Batman. You know what I'm saying? And those were the two worst movies you could ever watch. Three hours of just dreary, nothing. It, it just turned Planet Apes into nothing. But the first episode, first um, movie was for us. It got him out of there. So that's what my whole point is that it's telling you that directors, there's some directors out here that understand what's going on. You know what and that's why they, they, they put things out like that. What you mean? We working for them forever. He got a part in his movie saying no. We listen to them forever. He got a part in them saying no. I'm not listening to you no more. You understand? You you don't you don't take that into your, your into, into account. Like wait a minute. We listen to them all the time. Even when it's a detriment a detriment to us. No. We act we act we ask too much. And this that was that, that's what that was about. Directors are telling us something. Comic book artists are telling us something. Comic book creators are telling us something. They're speaking to us through their art, through their history. You understand? They're not just oh, I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna just do anything. No, this is why we got Thor and Odin. The Egyptians, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the Sumerians. This is why we got all of these things, man. The gods, cosmic beings, creation. This is why we got these things. You know what I'm saying? It's no coincidence that, that, that Kevin Feige and them going with the origin story of Marvel with, the, with eternity as, 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 as a chief god of, of, the, of the 616. It's no coincidence that they're going with Abishan and, and the rebellion. Because he didn't want to work for them forever. He said no. Abishab said no. I'm not doing it no more. You think this like this? You think this is like we got two different movies now? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not doing it. This is this is this is, this is a Marvel movie and Planet of the Apes. But the theme is the same. Abishab said, I'm not gonna build your planets and galaxies and stars forever. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not your slave. You understand? This is what it is. We can do this all day with any type of movie. Any type of situation. You know what I'm saying? We already did this here. I just watched John Wick. 
people watch John Wick for nothing. Like literally just watch it for nothing. Just, just went up there, went in there and just, oh yeah, just killed everybody. Yeah, it was great. No. It ain't about him killing everybody. It's about John Wick getting his freedom. That's it. Hey man, a Chinese man. Getting his freedom. That's it. Two men that went and got their freedom. That's it. This is a theme going through all, all through Hollywood. Certain directors, 300, Zack Snyder. What you think that was? They didn't want to be enslaved. You know what I'm saying? They're fighting against being enslaved. You understand? This is what it is. This is all it is. <laughs> The whole when he, when he when he did Justice League when he did when he when he did Snyderverse, what you think Dark Side was trying to do? Enslave us? <laughs> did, did, did you hear what Stephen Wolf was saying in, 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 uh, about us? Decide, decide. I call to thee, Stephen Wolf. Have you begun the conquest? This world is divided. They are a primitive species, unevolved and at war with one another, too separate to be one. Their free will must be ripped from them, like the other worlds, given absolution in one glorious belief to serve him. The mother, Doxies. I have found one of the three, the one that woke and called to me. The other two still sleep, but the parademons feel their presence. They fly. They search, they take prisoners who carry the scent, while I build a stronghold in the name of his glory. Mighty Steppenwolf, who might have sat here by the side of the Great One, but undone by his self-pride. This world will fall, like all the others. You okay. We're too divided, we can never be one. You understand? Did you understand this? Like, he's talking to us. You think, oh, he is make-believe. Yeah. No. He is crying out to you. Get together. Get together. <laughs> we, don't understand. we don't listen. We just think everything is fake. Everything is, yeah. No. Eternity is the living universe. House of eternity, man. I'm saying, look around. Any anything you see on any film, books, anything about anybody was put into water and resurrected. That's all eternity, man. House of eternity, immortality, the living universe, man. That's it. I'm saying, sentient. That's it. This is all sentient. Everything. We, 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 they, they give us, they, they, they conquered us and gave us the information they wanted to give us to keep us conquered. You understand? That's it. So wherever, wherever you think you're at in life, you're conquered. Okay? That's it. Whether you're a, a, a rhino on the corner right there or you're in Wall Street, you're conquered. That's it. But you have to understand history and maybe you can get unconquered here first. And then you can unconquer your body. You know what I'm saying? This is why you have to follow this storyline. This, this whole secret wars came to conquer everything. Because this is serious, man. That man got up there and told you straight up. People bash that movie, destroy that movie. Listen, I've been trying to put my um my review out, my, my Kane and Conquer review out. They've been smashing that thing. It's like I didn't gave up on it trying to put it out. So now I'm gonna try to put I'm gonna try to put my Kane and Conquer review out again. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to put it out again. But listen. I have to follow this, man. That man got up there and said, listen. Time. And what you think it is, man. I just thought I'd have more time. I can give that to you. It's not what you think it is. It's a cage. You know what I'm saying? Tries to break you down, man. Destroy you. You have to get outside of it. It's a cage, man. Life is a cage. They created a cage of life for us. And Cain is on another level. Remember, he controls the multiverse. So he's his whole thought. Listen, I've been, 
I, I didn't hit, hit it right on the head with, with Kane. I didn't made a whole my whole Kane series. I made that eight eight nine months ago. You know what I'm saying, and I was ready on his whole mentality. I was ready. I already knew what they were, where they was going with his mentality. You know what I'm saying, I already knew he was challenging the way life is. I knew that already. You know what I'm saying, just from following the story, I knew that he was challenging the way all this everything. You know what I'm saying, like this is what it is. Our life is what our conquer was made for us. You know what I'm saying? That's it. This ain't our life. They built a cage for us that we have to get out of, not decorate. We decorate all our cages. And we, we just, we, we, we just, you know what I'm saying? Decorating them. You know what I'm saying? Cain the Conqueror. He don't like this. Why we got to do this? He's, he's going, he, he, his, his, his thought process is, is against who made life. That's some God and some fake heaven that, that our conquerors gave us. Stories our conquerors gave us that we can that we believe in with our heart and soul. Huh? Our conquerors the ones that destroyed everything. Destroyed our lives, everything. And they gave us this. And we believe that. Whether you're white or black, they destroyed everything. Yeah, doesn't matter. Oh, okay. But we don't have that. We don't have any mentality. We don't know where we came from. So they make us, they make us believe that's real, and everything else is fake. This planet is billions of years old. You know what I'm saying? They gave you a creation story right in your face. Marvel and DC. You know, don't, don't get it, don't get it twisted. Don't, don't think DC is not. No, Jack Kirby went to DC too. Set up, set up their whole cosmic, four worlds, everything. Listen, listen. James Gunn is coming with with the whole new, D, new DC universe, right? Listen, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, right? <laughs> I don't know nothing about this day universe, nothing, yeah? nothing about it. But just from following history and following where everything is going, I'm gonna tell you where they're going with they with they, with, with their origin story of their their their, of their DC universe. Yeah? They're going with perpetual. They can go anywhere else. They can go everywhere. But they're going to go with Perpetual. You know why? Because they're going to have a theme of being disobedient. That's it. That's, a, that's the theme. Contessa, remember, if you follow DC, you know, you have the... DC had, obviously did the same thing Marvel they had to do, but Marvel was smarter. I mean, they're smarter, but they did it a little bit, a little bit smarter where... Uh, Stan Lee did not want to put any type of religion on the front line in, in his comics. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't have no Christian, like nothing like Death Left, like like the, the God, the one of the was Christian. And they had that. But in DC, they had it. Like the, they had the Christian whole situation with the, with the presence. You know what I'm saying? So, but when, uh, when it, the whole situation with the presence is obviously he's the presence, the, 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 cosmic, the cosmic beginning. God, the cosmic beginning of life. And he granted, he uh, made Contessa. He made Contessa, granted her powers, and he told her to make a multiverse. And when he when he when she and, and when he told her to make the multiverse, he gave her things to do afterwards. Like she was supposed to make the multiverse. She was supposed to make three sons. I'm saying at the anti one, 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 two of them was like the anti monitor and the monitor, and, and then she was supposed to build realms for her sons, and then she's supposed to give her power back to the source, and then kill herself. I'm saying, and so obviously when she felt, when she realized her, all her tasks, she was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, you just made me about ten minutes ago, and now you're telling me. I gotta give this up. I got life. Like I can look around. I can see. I got all this power. I just. I mean, I'm, I'm making a multiverse right now. I've got ultra power right now. You telling me, I gotta. And you telling me, I'm, I'm, I got. I got the power to create life. I can make other life forms. So I'm now create these ultra power beings, my sons. And, and, and the anti-monitor, the monitor. And you telling me, I create the. I create the realms also. And now you're telling me I got to get my power back and kill myself. You out of here. I'm not doing it. 
So so what she did was she she created an evil multiverse. She wasn't having she wasn't having made a good multiverse, but she made an evil one. And then she created an army of soldiers that evolved over time. And she and she was ready for whenever they judge her, she was ready for the war. But they they her sons, I'm saying, figured it out before she her plan came to fruition. Her sons was monitoring all the multi all, all the realms, and she seen that it was some realms that didn't have rulers. And then she realized that her mother was still alive. And that's when she, she, I mean, they called all the uh, cosmic beings in and they judged her. I'm saying, and they got her out of there. So this, 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 this goes to show you here, like, she disobeyed. She disobeyed. She didn't follow orders. You know what I'm saying? If she would have followed orders, everybody, everything would have followed, would, would, would call it a plan. Now, if she would have followed orders, well, she would have made the multiverse and then, you know, created her sons and then gave the power back and then killed herself. If she did that, she would have became a hand. And one, it's like a, these people are like ultra powerful and they just sit up there and watch the multiverse and they just make moves wherever they want to do. But it's the thing. They're slaves. They're hive minds. They all look the same. They don't have any lives. They're just standing around, just monitoring multiverses and making judgments. That's it. That's their life. They have no life. They're just slaves. That's it. She didn't want that. She had life. She could make decisions, not follow orders. You understand? That's it. She's not. She didn't want to be subjugated. You understand? She created everything. She gave things free. Her creations, everything happened with free will. She was free will. So I'm telling you right now. Put it right here. New Alpha Comics History. That's where you're going. Right there. That's facts. I'm saying, but listen. This is real. In the, in the presence? Well, that's eternity. Hands down eternity. If you look at it, it's all eternity. Stars, planets, galaxies, all that in, inside of them. See, it's all, everything's inter intertwined. That's Jack Kirby over there, remember? He installed eternity right over there. Because this is what it is. You see? But they, they, they disguise it inside judo, Christian, all that. Ain't do nothing. To, this ain't this ain't nothing but what the Romans did with, with, with Christianity. They, they disguise their faith inside of a, a, a created Christianity. You see, this is what they did. But we don't want, we don't understand that they created this in a room, a, a closed room. They just went and wrote everything out, edited everything how they wanted it, and put it out there. And now we believe it. Four thousand years later. We talking about our God did this and our God did that. No, they, they, they created it in a room. That's it. One little room. 27 books. That's it. The real God is all around us. Look, look at the days of the week. That's Asgardians. That was around before Marvel, right? Or, or, or was it? I got, got something else I want to talk about. You know, you know, I don't miss nothing. I'm saying, listen. Victor Timely. See? Think about this. Think about this. Victor Timely, his, his story is about he was defeated in the future, then came back to the past, with, to, to a point in the past where no, no, there was no technology, nothing. Like, so he came back to like 1901 or something like that, and he came back with technology to, to, and to, to build an empire that he already knows is going to flourish. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. He came back to build an empire. He already knows it's gonna flourish. How he wanted to flourish. Now let me, let me get, now check this. Marvel. Before they was named Marvel, they was called Timely. Timely Comics. Is it? Is it? It's real. Victor Timely. He set up shop in a little small town, in, in like Wisconsin or something like that. And he, they dominate that town. Industrial-wise, technology-wise, everything. There was a whole situation going on. Look, now we got a situation out in Delaware. A lot of stuff going on out there. Been going on out there. Small towns. They've been around since, you know what I'm saying? About that time, the 1900s, early 1900s. Delaware. Mm -hmm.
The Delaware Conspiracy is a government plot to make us believe that there are 50 states when there are, in fact, only 49. Delaware does not exist. I have many concerns about Delaware. I have mixed feelings on Delaware. Does it exist? Does Delaware exist? Oh, it doesn't exist. And are you familiar with the Delaware Conspiracy? I am not familiar with conspiracy about Delaware, but I can understand why there would be one. Uh, I first read about the Delaware conspiracy about a year ago. You know, our government loves us. Go USA. It would never lie to us. You understand? This is real. This is, this is not, <laughs> not no, like, nothing to be, oh yeah, this, no, this, this. I don't believe in coincidences. Ain't no coincidence. You see? Think about this. It's serious, man. It's set up. Marvel set up. It set up shop. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby set up shop and dominated the world. You see? Victor Timely has no really has no part in the comics, but but in reality, his part is the most important part of everything. Because his, him coming back. To the 1900s, he influenced all technological advances going forward. So he influenced the whole world. He 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 had the whole world going a certain way, thinking about a certain way. He could, he pro, he basically did everything. He programmed everybody's minds how he wanted to. This is serious. Okay? This is all you gotta understand these things, man. Eternity, man, is God. Okay? Anything you, all that is God. <laughs> Ain't all that God you so yeah, that's it. Then there's no none of that heaven or all that stuff. No, God, no, wrong. They got that off of, they got all of that information trying to copy, you know what I'm saying? The afterlife, the ancestral plane. They try to copy that with just all this heaven. It, it, no, try to copy that. That's all. We got the ancestral plane. After life, you understand? We don't we don't mention that word, the D word. That D word came from them to us, so we can will our own death. That's it. That's all. That's all it is. Because we are a manifestation race. All of us. You can, you when you you think about you you always willing your own death, you're gonna die. Yeah. They gave you the they gave you the word, cat. Yeah. Spin it around, circulate it, everything. You put it in our face, everything. We, death is in our face just as much as sex. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. We, 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 we be forgetting that we're conquered. And, we, and we're here by, 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 by courtesy of our conquerors. And our conquerors want us to stay this way forever. For eternity. Like, you don't understand. We forget about this all the time. Man. We're supposed to be, this is supposed to be free. We're supposed to be, it's supposed to be right. No, it's not supposed to be right. We're conquered. <laughs> We don't understand this. I mean, we're the happiest slaves in the world. But, but this is what I'm telling you about. Your reality. These movies, <laughs> these directors, they're giving you your reality. These comic book writers, they're giving you your reality. But you think it's all fake, all fiction. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, eternity is real. You know what I'm saying? All this is real. Thor is real. Odin is real. You know what I'm All of it. We got maps. We got maps. We got history. We got everything now. 2022. 2023. Two on to 2024. It's over. <laughs> the truth is out. We in the multiverse. We all, everything. I'm saying, but, we, but people still, yeah, it's all, everything. Yeah, it's all, just, just get my pleasure and watching movies and get my popcorn and, and it, the bad, bad thing about it is your, your, your generation is going to be like that. Where they're going to believe that they're conquerors. Where they're going to fall in love with their conquerors. No. It's hidden messages in, it, in all these movies from people that know they're conquered and know they're trying to get out of being conquered. And so they're putting gems in their movies that keep people's mind to the prize. That's it. That's all. That's what it is, man. But we know, we just know our comfort history, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do, man. You know what I'm saying?
So we're gonna we gonna we're gonna advance this story how it needs to be advanced. So we're gonna show people that, that listen, this is this is not just oh a, 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 a comic book story. Yeah, this shit got two different three, four, five different meanings. This is this top five different stories. You know what I'm saying? This is real. This is a real story about our reality, man. We got people trapped on the other side of the world. You know what I'm saying? People trying to reset this. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole Listen, I'm listening. We ain't done with none of that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't done with that. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be more on that. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, man. Listen, man. King 2, man. You ain't going to hear this nowhere else, man. That's a fact, man. No for conference history, man. Peace, man. Here's another civic superstition I have a problem with. Rights. Boy, everybody in this country is always running around yammering about their rights. I have a right. You have no right. We have a right. They don't have a right. The government has a right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. Listen, folks, I hate to spoil your fun, but there's no such thing as rights, okay? We made them up. They're imaginary, like the boogeyman, the three little pigs, Pinocchio, stuff like that. It's fictional. Fictional idea, rights. People say, well, they come from God. They're God-given rights. Oh, fuck, here we go again. The God excuse, the last refuge of a man with no answers and no argument, it came from God. But let's say it's true. Let's say it's true that God gave us these rights. Fine. Why would he give us a certain number of rights? The Bill of Rights in this country has 10 stipulations, 10 rights. And by the way, God must have been doing sloppy work because you've had to amend the Bill of Rights an additional 17 times. God left out a few things like slavery. Just fucking overlooked it that day. Doesn't sound like divine planning to me. Sounds more like one group trying to control another group. In other words, business as usual in the USA.